was discussion on Indian society and social justice questions of May 2024. Uh, hi, I'm Vijayadu Dinakaran. I am handling sociology optional in Kingmakers IAS Academy, also Indian society, ethics, social justice, essay, etc. etc. So it's very important that what you have studied and where you are studying from where the sources what you are taking, you should also relate it with the UPSC trend that how UPSC is asking the questions from the past 10 years questions you have to prepare and also the current questions also you have to validate with the trend you know like whether it is the same or it's changing. So let's start the discussion because very importantly which uh, you have to keep all these things in mind that after seeing the questions it's very important that how to crack the questions and also what you need to write during that pressure time of exams of maze so let's start with the discussion as well as the way to handle the questions and what points you can add uh, in the particular questions okay so the first question was and so also we'll be doing some kind of revisions because i'm going to, i'm uh, i'm going to handle the indian society and social justice in a different way because uh, there is no book available for Indian society and social justice because this topic is very very dynamic in nature. Dynamic in the sense that latest trend the UPSC is targeting and the UPSC is asking the opinion of me in uh, like opinion of us in Indian society and social justice questions. Okay, so let's start. We will understand the questions, we'll crack the questions, and also we'll make the answers. And one thing I am having also the ready-made answers. So let's see that whether you are thinking in the same way or not. Write down the questions with the sub points of answers with that and check at the end that whether you have also thought the same answers or not. Okay, so why do the larger city trend to attract more migrants than smaller towns discuss in the light of, condi light of conditions in developing countries. Now first step by step we will uh, you know going to learn uh, you know large cities so large city understand and Keywords associated in the question. Why do large city tend to attract more migrant than smaller town? So it means that the keyword here is you uh, then the keyword highlighting after that you have to look into the syllabus. I mean to say syllabus will not be there in the mains exams but still you have to bring yourself uh, bring that syllabus in your mind. Uh, for example, the Indian society syllabus starts with the salient features of Indian society then diversity then uh, the women's and associated issues and women's organizations uh, globalization urbanization secularizations uh, regionalism social empowerment relating to that the population and associated issues poverty etc so these are the you know syllabus it should be there you know like like how i told the same way you have to keep remember the syllabus of every subject so syllabus level where it is coming it is coming with the migration Apo migration you know, na, migration is a topic related to population and is associated issue Apo indian society syllabus first you need to decode it but decode decode means first and the syllabus syllabus so what is the syllabus for example population and associated issue is the topic here then population and associated issues la you have to draw a line population and associated issue is related to population is an asset or population is a liability then issues related with the population in the mari things you have to create it with the uh, syllabus then related to that what are the criteria for having a population for example here the fertility mortality and most important migration it is the one they actually they highlighted migration okay then what is the solution for example migration up fertility is birth rate up birth rate crude birth rate etc mortality this is also changing okay uh, then the major now highlighting topic is migration in population and associated issue because migration solumbudu migration is happening urban to rural rural to urban urban to urban and then rural yes urban to urban then one more will be there rural to rural uh questions started with where 
question started here with uh, uh, the migration and migration cities to smaller town appo enna na urban to urban kadaiyadu but still urban to urban you can say because village they have not asked appo this is the issue now see how you are cracking it idella vandu padikumbodhu you have to create a diagram and you have to keep with you illana and the syllabus la decode pannaame neenga questions understand panna mudiyadhu okayla so why do the larger cities now the question here is issues with the decode the question issues with the migration issues with the cities to the smaller towns for larger cities like urban population urban cities having more migrate uh, migration problem than the smaller town adha da issues kekranga okay decode aichcha discuss in the light condition in developing country now one more thing in the questions la every peoples will ignore the term developing countries developing countries now we are thinking india appo india kuduthirukla la why they are giving here developing countries then also you uh, you have to add the examples of india okay developing countries like here you can take african nations okay developing countries like g20 countries could suppose if any examples you can give with the data analysis it's very important understood questions understood now what to write what to write okay second step what to write step by step please make note of it okay what to write is you have to go with introduction we are framing the answers idella frame pannadukku appuram the points varum otherwise we are just jumping into the points never you will be getting the points in indian society and social justice with the ready made answers kadaiyadhu introduction body okay body 1 and body 2 body 1 body 2 na and mari questions nam vandha actually we need to discuss in such a way uh then questions arises also government policies provisions idla kandipa neenga add pannano then still suggestion okay suggestion idu da namu vandu we have done with the structure of the answer now introduction you should not write introduction you have to start indian society indian society question should start with statistics or reports ipdi da or introductions irukano then either you have to discuss with the recent happening anything is there if it is not suited in any questions then you should go with the definition either this either this or either this idey mari chronological order la you have to start so what is this now indian society is saying the issues appo issues ke discuss pandradhukku before you need to have a valid statistics here to and to show to the examiner that now see this is the problem now i want to discuss it about that what is this problem and why it is happening so statistics you need to give either from 2011 census or some international reports okay so we can say that the larger cities tend to attracts more migrant than the smaller cities so 2011 census has been mentioned that urbanization is going on in a high rate in the mari or introduction start panni you can highlighting now body one will be going to means first para and the questions ku enna handle pannona why do this cities having more appo enna na advantage of larger cities migration la why it is happening in larger cities then please understand smaller town or a disadvantage apdi thana ipo vande nama or place la nda nama or place ku move avum bodu why we are going there that has to be considered also why some disadvantage will be there where we are leaving it so that disadvantage also you have to mind so the real crux of the questions enna na issues of migration why it is going with the larger cities what is the disadvantage having in the smaller town government provisions you have to add compulsory because this is government service examinations and also suggestions you need to give because these things should not be happening or these things happening means what are the suggestions you want to give to the government that this is an issue has to be get solved now frame the questions okay now for example again points create padrathukku economic cause social cause see and training you to prepare an answers yana questions ka ready made answers kadikiyadu at least train your mind that how you can bring the points here 
okay then political cause economic cause social cause political cause maybe other uh, causes also you can add ethical cause also maybe you know sometimes we can create it now why larger cities economic cause ke now we are framing opportunity work opportunity okay economic causes education better education better health facilities right if we are not segregating the topic of the point repetition of the points would be there from economically 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 namlukku theriyadume we are will be repeating the point there social cause can be maybe the better living condition okay there is no discriminations if you seeing urban cities just minding their own work then relatedly with the smaller town better living conditions you can say right and also crimes and all this aspect may be increased but policies and government facilities will be going to provide will be uh, you know will be in the better uh, if you comparing with the smaller town political cause you can add up this whatever the points for the government side i have told better policy framing etc okay and disadvantage of the smaller cities the disadvantage would be less opportunities the smaller cities having uh, as compared to the larger cities okay then uh, you can say that these things happening because of urbanization modernization industrialization now these things happening in urban cities that is why the migration is focusing this area okay so then government schemes you have to bring ki government is doing something for this migration problem you can say urban mission in which the you know like the smaller towns are under the same infrastructure development has to be there as like the urban city urban urban missions also manrega then we have in 73rd and 74th amendment which says that municipalities and urban local bodies these things has to mention okay other than that even articles so government schemes ko vanda again there is a way to think you can target article second act third also you can go with the some uh, government schemes and international sdg goal like that you can target okay now first two questions could in the idea could be because later uh, questions also you can think like that now let's see that what will be the answer so in the mari or the situation okay so larger cities are attract more migrants than smaller towns variety of reasons a variety of reasons and then migration is happening internal migration external migration even international migration now internal migration means within your country within so either inter regional or intra regional that i said you can also go with rural to urban urban to rural in the mari or diagram also you can present it the way i have showed okay now economic causes maybe economic opportunity job availability higher wages a points ungal mind la varad when you cannot segregate with this particular uh, points okay then you also have to give the examples these pdf i am going to share with uh, king makers is app okay and ang uh, and download paniringa uh, maybe you know i'll be going to share all this pdf access to social services like education is best health is best here health care urban infrastructures and amenities transportation utilities and technology etc now better quality of life idella points already discuss i have done uh, with you okay classes la vandu we have seen all these points you know that how i used to give this particular flow chart and in the flow chart la vandu i used to connect all these point okay ninga flow chart uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, draw pannum bodu edhukku idella flow chart na you might have thought about this but now see that every possible area we discuss in our classes during our class time okay agree or not comment okay then um here the points is rural push factor so you can also consider it is a push factor and pull factor 
where we are going into the city as a uh, like pull factor and from where we are going migration this is a pushing factor so this is pushing factor is negative push factor is positive rural push factors is poverty as i said poverty is high in smaller town lack of opportunity agriculture most important is declining so the rural population is migrating to urban popula- urban area or from the so- uh, smaller town to the bigger town or the bigger cities we can migrate because of the agriculture is in de- declining and distress political concentration of resources like developing countries national government and international business they are concentrating more resources only in larger city adukaga the developing countries or topic inga kuduthirukku larger cities making them uh, so they are ignoring somehow the smaller town only concentration is there here in the larger city even decentralization of challenges for example smaller towns often lacks of political clout or administrative capacity la vandu priority pathinga na cities ku da there are opportunities here there okay urban informal sectors is coming only in the urban cities so informal employment is also more for example domestic works ku vandu we have in demand here in city correct informal employment like gig economy uh, like uh, swiggy zomato the the food cultures the living style is changing in urban city because of that many people are getting the employment so opportunity of even the self employment for example informal work uh, road side la vandu or mari small small shops kada poduvanga so night time la and you know food uh, truck mari so something they have an opportunity here that is why they are migrating to the big city okay because adik demand irk demand irkukaga the people are having this particular work so market access even credit facilities is also happening understood now the structures i have not added here the government schemes but i have already discussed the government schemes with you second question discuss between the gender equality first step enna na first read the question distinguish between gender equality gender uh, this is equity equality idu vandu equity varu question paper i will be having gender equity and women's empowerment three keywords what is the important why it is important to take gender concern into account in programs design and implementation Sec- first step i have said read the question second step underline the keywords keywords inge enna na equality equity women's empowerment important gender concern the the question depends on gender and you have to go with the programs and design appo the questions targeted from government policies which is available for gender and what is the difference between gender equality equity and women's empowerment most how to handle this question now i will not show you the answers let's crack this questions first now the question here you have to introduce your questions with the definition of equality equity and empowerment in that the hint is gender now people will forget men because women women empowerment why they have given me so make us distract okay so distraction enna na women's empowerment pathi people will write only gender pathing enna women's dhan ya varu but please don't forget to use transgender according to 2013 supreme court judgment that transgender has been considered as other gender then what happened was adukapra 2018 19 the government has framed the policy for transgender act then also there is a policy of transgender rule 2020 so these are the things is there now they ask that what are the policy why it is important to take gender concern into account in program designing and implementation what is the need to understand about the three gender appo idilla need enna na economic need political need social need okay so first our introductions will be there what is gender equality and equity gender equality is this giving equal things to every other section of your society appo equal things inga paarenga desk is there appo equal desk kudukumbodhu nam equal kadaiyadu appo how this is going to be reach appo equality inna na how much persons are needed to become in a equal 
that government has to follow now right to equality article 14 is considered these two things simultaneously for example right to equality says here right uh, right to equality under article 14 says the right to equality and the right to equality before first we have to make them equal adukaga the equal protection of law then equal protection of law is nothing first make them equal adukapra equality nam treat pannalam that is why reservation is there that is why we have a reservation of 27% for obc as per the population 15% for sc and 7% for this so this is the gender equality this is the gender equity adukaga vandu drawing panna vena but you have to make them understand by giving the definition so definition is refers to concept of equal right this is for example ensuring both men and women paid the same appo idu vandu equality equity solumbodhu what is the requirement to make them equal appo maybe avangalukku adhigama kuduthirukalam maybe the equal representation is not there means equal neenga post adukku kudukka mudiyadhu you have to give the reservation adhu dhaan positive discriminations we are doing under article 14 15 also and 16 also okay so equal recognition of men women and peoples of other gender may have a different needs and the needs uh requirement madri you have to give for example fairness kudunga justice kudunga right implementation of policy uh, policies that gives more scholarship to girls than women's girls or transgender now we have not reached to transgender mind it here the problem is here we are only going with the concentration of women third gender ku indha vandu we are not giving any other focusing so now these highlighting point you have to mention under your answer women's empowerment then i used to give uh, the definition even i have given in my classes un definition of women's empowerment women's empowerment will be having five aspect not only it is giving an equality equality should be there in every sphere resources you know political social okay then economic resources having a self worth feeling ability to bring a social change and involvement in decision making okay self worth you know equality you know decision making you know social change you know these are the things gives you the empowerment feeling but india is following only to give equality only on the basis of resources but what about other things self worth decision making this is lacking that is why the true women's empowerment is not happened even not only this empowerment you can connect with them you know women but also social empowerment is this social empowerment enna na political empowerment giving right to vote right to stand in election etc right to have an economic empowerment uh, indian having we also having the economic job opportunities etc but social empowerment is less society la vandu social justice is not happening appo vulnerable sections are lack of social empowerment adukaga than the topic kuduthirukku okay so social empowerment definition you are giving now question demanded here what are the importance of this considering the gender consent now government if they are considering gender consent what they can make the changes now addressing the disparity where they are lacking what is the need to them what we should provide them it is a policy making ku vande there will be effective so the gender concern why it is matter is development program frame pandrathukku even improving the program effectiveness presently ipo irukku and the programs vand effective iruka otherwise we need to change or not this is also give a uh, like some kind of training programs or changing of program inclusivity and fairness whether we are giving the fairness inclusivity is there so gender concern pannum bodhu da now idukku discuss pandradhukku appo then you can write it that we ignore the transgenders even you have to write about the acts though we have a act and policies and rules but still that these part is neglected idu da neenga vande highlight pananum because in the core of the questions yeah upsc ask in this particular exam is he want upsc want to see that as a civil servant the quality of vulnerable sections mele neenga work panna poringa there that and the sense irukka illa na test pandradhukku da indha questions kuduthirukanga okay enhancing social and economic development like why it is a matter etc legal and policy requirement and preventing uninterrupted negative consequences and all okay this is what you want to do if a government have done then you have to discuss in the body to what we have neglected apo vandu what we have neglected an implication on transgender 
tell uh, i mean like trust me if anybody have included a transgender and included all this act angalukku two three marks adha kandipa extra kadikum you should not forget that you are aiming the government exams you have to include that what government has done till now but at the implementation la da there is a loophole also suggestions you have to give appo suggestions kodukumbodhu maybe some committee reports some some suggestions you have suggestions you can't give your own you can take a committee reports some uh, justice committee would be there some supreme court judgment would be there adhu base panni da neenga suggestion kodunga your answer should be end up with very way forward looks la da you have to end up okay next question hope you are uh, interestingly we are Uh, you know seeing the questions whether uh, you are getting the points here or not please do message because see in the effort number one that actually we are giving means i should know in the comment that whether you are benefiting from this or not okay interstate marriages between caste interesting question okay have socio economic parity have increased to some extent but this is less true on interreligious marriage understand the question upsc trying to uh, you know bring all the points from us like Uh, UPSC is saying that inter marriages, inter caste marriages, somehow it's okay now, but very far we are from inter religious marriages. Apo two religion between when the marriages are very less. Again, introduction statistics or any Supreme Court judgment you can give, right? So you can say that Hadia case, Hadia case was seen as in love jihad issue, but later Supreme Court judgment has come that it is right of person. if they are attained 18 years of age and 21 years of age right to marriage has been under article 21 and the hadia case the right to marriage i include panirke these things if you have to introduce because and the namma vand questions paathittu how you have to give an introduction so that the concern da automatically and the mind la varano so hadia case can be taken as a uh, you know introduction then later what is the requirement you have to say that why inter religious marriage has been promoted but not so we can see as an interreligious marriages apo loopholes of the the problem and the issues of the interreligious marriages then what we it is actually crux of the question okay now what point you can give cultural differences are there inter caste marriages and socio economic parities now it is increasing because caste as a concept changed to class second because of urbanization because of modernization because of living Uh, uh you know uh, status now most caste is not dominating on the class so people are less bothered about caste than the classes classes means economic dependency idla paakranga economic um how you are good in economic way idu da vandu more dominating than the caste that is why inter religious in, sorry inter caste marriages is now okay with that so endogamy paakame inter religious marriages is promoting because more love marriages are now coming in than the arranged marriages living relationship is increasing this turn up into the love marriages later okay so divorce rate is increasing because after that even the having the same caste uh, is not uh, giving the guarantee for this marriage as an institution these are the changes happening because of the modernizations and urbanizations uh, and modern value systems which we are carrying okay so economic homogeneity uniform factors inter caste marriage la we are bothering now why it is not so for inter religious marriages still in india which having a diversity in religion as well cultural diversity in religion alone stronger religious barriers are stopping us because their culture is very different okay we even seeing the history on the basis of religion for example ancient history ga nam hindu religion oda connect panna we are connecting and medieval history ku vandu we are just connecting with the outside religion it has come so christianity we are seeing it's a british modern british as varumbodhu the christianity has entered then this is a very very different uh, in our cultural aspect if you see religion very very culturally we are looking still we are seeing it in that so cultural endogamy religious laws and legal complexity is there because uh, it is expecting that the second generation and the third generations of your family should not change the religion adhe religion ko continue pananum so this is very religious laws and traditions as associated with that that is why the inter religious uh, marriages are not been promoted great social and political sensitivity is there for example hindu muslim marriages in particular have become a flash point in communal tensions i know 
many states have been framed some policies that to stop these kind of marriages appo eppadi promote panna mudiyum you have to go with this particular points oppositions from the religious institutions still we are connected community wise there challenges is there and even families and social pressures is stopping this right even urbanizations economic education disparity is also is there but conclusion la vandu you can say inter caste marriage is following inter religious marriages is not promoting somehow like state or a uh, secular feelings is now diverted towards the some religious uh, aspect la avanga continue pandranga so you can end up with that though we have a secular word added in the preamble by the 42nd constitution amendment act but social uh, uh, aspect la vandu this political change has not been seeing it uh, you know truly maybe this is the need of the hour is political intervention in the mari or conclusions you can write it and stop it okay umba uh, critical issues are there umba difficulty irukum uh, more we should not go inside any religious beliefs and all that adha da indian society oda boundary namalukku theriyum answers eppadi nama end pannano adha namalukku theriyum otherwise you know maybe think panni paarenga examiner will contacting your paper maybe they are from a different religion na avangala uh, contradict pandra mari irukku kudadu okay next question what is regional disparity how does it differ from disparity what is regional disparity how does it differ from disparity how serious is the issue of regional disparity in india now first read the question second underline the keyword regional disparity difference we have to need how it is different from disparity appo meaning enna na disparity first unakku theriyum disparity is nothing but diversity but this questions come from which syllabus regionalism now they're changing yana indha mari neenga decode panna da points unga mind la varum regional disparity so regional diversity question decode pannum bodhu regional disparity or regional diversity how it is different from diversity and how serious is the issue of regional disparity appo regional disparity issue is nothing but regionalism understanding so you have to write about regionalism you have to talk about regional diversity and how it is different from other diversity that decode of the question pre then decode pannu questions understood na appo ninga answers vandu correctly and the questions kekkra mari you can write down there okay so regional disparity in development in india now uh, maybe na answer paakame first ungalku na let's create some answer here okay what can be our introduction what we can introduce here you can write about the definition first second you can write about some um, like how much we are diverse okay regional what are the region region solumbodu even you can go with the state we have in 28 state okay with eight union territory having how many districts under that so you can so we can have in uh, like idea that how much we are diverse in nature this so regional disparity evlo irukku okay idu da introductions le we can give secondly then question says here how it is different from disparity appo disparity means we have the different diversity so what are the diversity we have we have in diversity of religion region we have a diversity of culture we have a diversity of language okay so disparity is nothing but having other you know uh, reason also is there for this particular disparity rather than only regional disparity so you have to write about the difference here let's see the answer what is regional disparity now here the question says regional disparity is also meaning that as comparing with other region as comparing with other region we are not only diverse okay 
பட் ஆல்சோ அதுக்காக வந்து ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ டைவர்ஸ் இதுதான் கொஸ்டனோட டிமேண்ட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நார்த் கம்பேர் பண்ணும்போது சவுத் இஸ் மோஸ்ட் எஜுகேட்டட் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் அப்போ அவங்களுக்கு என்னென்னா இந்த ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பேரிட்டி தெரியுது அவர் ரீஜன் இஸ் நாட் ஈக்குவலி டெவலப்ட் ஆஸ் சவுத் இண்டியா சவுத் இண்டியாவுக்கு வந்து ஈவன் தே வில் பி சீயிங் சம்திங் அவர் ரீஜன் இஸ் நாட் வித் இன் தி பர்டிகுலர் ரீஜன் சம் டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் வில் பி சீயிங் ஆஸ் அ ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பேரிட்டி இதுதான் காஸ் சின்ஸ் வி ஆர் டைவர்ஸ் இட் டசன்ட் மீன் வி ஷுட் பி ஹேவிங் அவர் ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பேரிட்டி ஆல்வேஸ் எவ்ரி படி தட் ஈக்குவல் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஷுட் பி கிவன் இதுதான் கொஸ்டனோட எசன்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் இஃப் யூ சீ கம்பேரிங் வித் நார்த் சவுத் ஈஸ்ட் அண்ட் வெஸ்ட் அப்போ ஈஸ்ட் இண்டியாவுக்கு வந்து ஈஸ்ட் இண்டியா மீன்ஸ் ஈஸ்டர்ன் சைட் தேட் செவன் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் ஸ்டேட் வில் பி கம்பேரிங் தேர் செல்ஃப் வித் த நார்த் அண்ட் சவுத் தேர் ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பேரிட்டிஸ் அர் தேர் ஸோ எம் இக்கனாமிக்லி த ரீசன் த பேசிஸ் ஆஃப் ரீஜனலிசம் இஃப் யூ சி திஸ் கேன் பி தேர் ஃபார் தி இக்கனாமிக் ரீசன் அப்போ ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பேரிட்டி இஸ் நத்திங் பட் இக்கனாமிக் you know distribution has not clear here so what is that some region is like this some region is still this is called regional disparity so regional disparity refers to a difference in economic development apo clarity enna na regionalism on the basis of economic idu da nam target panna economic development infrastructure etc apo regional disparity difference enna na disparity is what just form of inequality maybe on the equality எப்படின்னா இருக்கலாம் டைவர்சிட்டி எப்படின்னா இருக்கலாம் கல்ச்சர் லாங்குவேஜ் அப்படின்னா பட் ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பாரிட்டி இஸ் லைக் ஜியாகிரபிக்கல் ஏரியா விச் இஸ் அண்டர் டெவலப்ட் வி ஆர் நாட் சேம் ட்ரீட்டட் ஆஸ் அதர் ஏரியா எக்ஸெட்ரா ஹவு சீரியஸ் திஸ் இஷ்யூ இஸ் இந்த பேசிஸில் நாளுக்கு வந்து ரீஜனபிள் ஸ்டா ரீஜனலிசம் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகிடும் ரீஜனலிசம் பர்சே இஸ் நாட் நெகட்டிவ் ஆர் பாசிட்டிவ் சாரி ரீஜனலிசம் பர்சே இஸ் நெகட்டிவ் அண்ட் பாசிட்டிவ் ரீஜனலிசம் பர்சே இஸ் நாட் வெரி நெகட்டிவ் இன் நேச்சர் ரீஜனலிசம் பாசிட்டிவ் இருக்கும்போது டெவலப்மெண்ட் நடக்கும் இட்ஸ் நாட் அட் ஆல் லைக் நெகட்டிவ் சென்ஸ் ஏன்னா நம்மக்கிட்ட ஸ்டேட் சென்ட்ரல் ஸ்டேட் ரிலேஷன் இஸ் தேர் நீத்தி ஆயோக் இஸ் தேர் தென் வி ஹேவ் அன் ஜோனல் கமிஷன் இன்டர் ஸ்டேட் கவுன்சில் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல் ப்ரமோட்டிங் த ரீஜனலிசம் ஓன்லி பிகாஸ் நம்ம வந்து ஒரு இஷ்யூஸ் ரேஸ் பண்ணும்போது தான் வி வில் பி கெட்டிங் அ டெவலப்மெண்ட் தேர் பட் நெகட்டிவ் கான்செப்ட் இஸ் நாட் குட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அதர் ரீஜனுக்கு வந்து இது இருக்குது நம்மளுக்கு அது கிடையாது ஸோ ஸ்டார்ட் ப்ரமோட் இன்னும் ப்ரொட்டஸ்டிங் தென் டெஸ்ட்ராயிங் தி இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் இது எல்லாமே வந்து நெகட்டிவ் கன்வர்டேஷன் ஆஃப் ரீஜனலிசம் ஸோ ரீஜனல் டிஸ்பாரிட்டி வில் லீட் டு திஸ் இக்கனாமிக் டிஸ்பாரிட்டி அண்ட் இன்கம் கேப் அர்பன் ரூரல் டிவைட் இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் டெவலப்மெண்ட் சோஷியல் ஹியூமன் டெவலப்மெண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் நான் ஈவன் யூ கேன் ரைட் இட் அபவுட் த சென்சஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் லெவன் which says here how literacy rate and uh, development basis la uh, infrastructures la vande they the census of uh, our country is actually showing that uh, one region is developing one region is in having a disparity appo inna na government has to take this particular uh, into considerations and work on this particular area okay so even this kind of suggestions also will be there so regional disparity maybe historical in nature history would be different maybe some people some area will be automatically developed area geographical distractions will be there maybe some geographical uh, barriers would be there and even public investment uh, sense uh, then consequences will be social unrest etc would be there okay next question globalization has increased the uh, urban migration again forces of changes of urban migration is globalization by skilled young so globalization has increased migration of urban migration for skilled young unmarried women appo enna kekranga na why skilled young and unmarried women are migrating towards the urban area direct okay how has it is trend impacted upon the personal freedom appo how it is impacted freedom wise on them first body introductions would be you have to present a census data or any data report which gives you the idea that why globalization has increased the urban migration and the mari you have to given data then particularly edhuk skilled young and unmarried na you have to go with economic opportunity young means they have a better lifestyle okay then unmarried women solumbodhu they will be having their own freedom to live their life so this is why they ask in this way that various classes uh, how it is impacted on the personal freedom and relationship with the family impacted on the freedom means a family matters whether they will be uh, 
you know like uh, and the freedoms use panni whether the family will support or maybe uh, they will be having their difference of opinion there okay so let's see that how you can write so first of all these are the area and these are the reason why migration is happening impact on the personal freedom if you see maybe more financial autonomy they will get where they are getting income and where they will be going to spend career choices and their opportunity even they will be having their choice of partner up for the marriages okay young women and unmarried women ko vande they will be getting their own choices decision making power will be getting social mobility kadiko maybe you know family will not be very uh, economically good but their living style and etc will give you a social mobility access to education skill development opportunity even they will be going for delayed marriage and family planning so control over the reproductive rights also they will be taking because skilled irk young irk unmarried women irk adukku we have to need a connection here okay impact relationship of family maybe they will not be following the same gender norms which was available uh, in the traditional uh, society pressure on return on home or marry adu avangalukku irukla family side la irundhu paakumbodhu they will not be they are under their control reflecting or redefining the gender role why we should only getting this particular role why we should only uh, you know stop the work uh, or the new mindset angalukku vandu actually create aidu increase communication and technology role is very much important here and family loyalty will not be so high maybe independence angalukku vandu maybe see this trends you can see it from uh, you are also young okay so you can also think that when you are taking your own decisions nobody will be going to pressure on you so you are on decisions like where you want to marry the, which age you want to marry idellame neenga vandu or decisions edukka mudiyo okay next critically analyze the propositions that there is a high correlation between india's cultural diversity and socio economic marginalization this question says here india's cultural diversity and socio economic marginal having some connection so critically analyze critically analyze means you have to go with the positive side also and negative side it means that it is there connected it is not connected to so critically analyze the proposition that there is a high correlation between india's cultural diversity and socio economic marginalities cultural diversity you have to say that india has a cultural diverse socio economic marginalities are connecting with that for example cultural diversity is like we have a caste systems we have a uh, because of caste system cultural diversity even uh, the uh, marginalization is there for example caste based division of labor will be there education land ownerships ellame vand caste based la irukku tribal marginalization is also there because cultural they have a difference that is why they are marginalized actually questions enna kekranga na cultural diversity irukkaga that is why they are marginalized they are different so caste cultural diversity because of that division of labor is still uh, scavenging uh, like manual scavenging is following tribal regional diversity is there that is why economic uh, uneven distribution is happening north south divide language cul- uh, cultural diversity is there because of that the language nationalism feeling is coming okay regional diversity is there that is why socio economic inequality can be seen ipdi dhaan questions neenga understand panna go through with the answers and uh, you can understand more points here okay next question in dealing with socio economic issues of development why what kind of collaboration between government ngo private sectors would be the most productive appo enna na the role of government ngos and private sectors what is the role in socio economic issues apo how to solve socio economic issues with the help of government ngos and private sector okay now you have to go with first of all some diagrams what is the uh, governance actually in the governance point of view da in the questions ketirukanga so national partnerships so these are the things they are working together now what is the role of the government ngos and private sector government can frame our policies public services and social mobilizations ngo will connect with the community engagement okay private sectors will also give the better services investment efficiency job creations 
then also they have a corporate social responsibility and with this particular collaborations having best uh, you know we can give to public welfare economics lavande this will be going to help public private partnership we can do okay from the government side multi stakeholders partnership we can have and government ngos will help in the better uh, health sectors la education poverty alleviation programs government and environmental stability etc the questions vand uh, how it is helping the actually particular governance is the question demand was there next question idu vand social justice la vand they are asking okay despite comprehension now see policies are there for vulnerable groups equity and social justice still why under privileged sectors are not getting full benefit appo enna na issues with affirmative action first why it is not reaching to vulnerable section decode panni one line la questions you have to understand then only you will be coming with the right answers and right points here now first of all you have to introduce what is affirmative action because questions stated on this affirmative action what is affirmative action so positive discrimination article 14 article 15 article 16 but this is not polity question you have to start see polity questions na you have to start with some other way like articles adha linga mention pananu this is you can given definitions or you can say with the recent things happened or some committee has been told on the mari so positive discriminations because of that uplift uh, for that it done to uplift of power disabled groups ka the through policies and program idai vande neenga introduction ka apprama neenga draw panirukla so introductions you can give with like uh, we have in vulnerable sections like schedule ka schedule type but still oh, oh, data na kudukra for example india literacy rate pathinga na 76 and 77 percent approximately you can say but tribal or illiteracy rate pathinga na 50 percent so these makes an understanding that despite having all the reservation etc why literacy rate and other things are not equal with other populations of vulnerable groups so you have started the issue and now you have to discuss in the body so implementation and changes you can say say right to uh, try to write an answers in different way idla yaar yaar involved will come government people okay then um, uh, people mean vulnerable group of people then society now think about the loopholes where it is there for example government side okay it is not government includes even bureaucrats executives implementation challenge corruption and mismanagement can be there lack of monitoring accountability investment excess of barrier for example some peoples are not able to take the benefit tribal groups le pathinga na pvtg group is there then uh, there is a uh, like criminal tribals ku vande or criminal uh, status kuduthirukku that is also you have to say so uh, these are the uh, you know these are the reason that they have not reached up to that par level educational inequality you can say the quality education only primary primary and secondary education uh, is focused what about the higher education and uh, etc it is not free and compulsory economic disparity is there right creamy layer has been given for that socio economic and caste based discrimination is there that is the reason that these things are not been reaching Uh, not been reached to the vulnerable section here okay political factors also politicizations of affirmative actions uh, uh, expanding demand for reservations etc right questions thing understand na understood na then uh, uh, answers part it ungalku understand aayidu okay next question in a crucial domain like the public health care system this is from the social justice health topic indian state should play a vital role in contain uh, adverse impact of marketization of system suggest some measures through which the state can enhance okay now uh, public health care systems in indian state uh, can play a vital role in other system as well so you have to say here that what is the importance of health and where and how we are and uh, how much we are uh, giving in the gdp you can say india's public health expenditure has been historically low only 1.28 percentage of how we can uh, think that our populations will be uh, asset for us right and even there is a some national health policy also now how it is going to impact strengthen the world uh, primary health care infrastructure is a uh, a requirement because questions inga enna kuduthirukku na it is crucial domain like a public health system in indian state should play a vital role 
ஓகே ஷுட் பே அப்போது இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் கேர் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் நம்ம இங்கே வந்து யூ ஹாவ் டு ரைட் அப்போது ஹெல்த் கேர் என்னென்னா எக்ஸ்பேண்ட் யூனிவர்சல் ஹெல்த் கவரேஜ் வில் என்ஹான்ஸ் இயர் தி ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் த பீப்புள்ஸ் இன் ஆர் கண்ட்ரி ரைட் ஈவன் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி மீன்ஸ் இட் வில் பி ப்ரமோட்டிங் எஸ் எஸ் ஹியூமன் கேபிட்டல்ஸ் இஃப் யுவர் ஹெல்த் இஸ் குட் யூ வில் பி ஹேவிங் அஸ் குட் ஸ்கில்ஸ் தென் யூ வில் பி சீங் எஸ் அ அசெட் ஃபார் தி பாப் கண்ட்ரி ஆல்ரெடி இந்தியா இஸ் நம்பர் ஒன் இன் பாப்புலேஷன் இந்த கொஷின்ஸ் தான் வந்து மோர் கவர்மெண்ட் இஸ் டூயிங் வித் ஆல் தி ஸ்டெப்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் இதில் மென்ஷன் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஷின் எஸ் ஃபைனல் கொஷின் ஹியர் லெஸ் கிராக் வாட் ஆர் த எய்ம் and object of recently passed and enforced the public examination prevention of unfair means act 2024 it was in the news it was a current affairs whether university state education board is able to be covered under that now exclusively you need to write about this particular act public examination prevention act recently what happened in neat exam recently what happened uh, see upsc exam slate has not happened but examination conduct pandrathukku again the question raised on upsc itself so these things happened that is why this public examination prevention unfair means act pass panirukanga because to give punishment if some kind of uh, you know loopholes has been um, like uh, has been detected or uh, for the government side or from the student side so anglukaga enna na vandu or penal penalties are there idha in the act la solli irukku to prevent unfair practices punish this person safeguard integrity of the examination and to create a deterrent effect idha ellame in the act la irukku you need to mention about this appo enna na exams idhula cover irukku public examination prevention act covers even government recruitment exams including upsc okay then admissions of educationals like je exams neet exams etc also yet it does not cover but state and uh, university exam this was this critically analyzed level this is the uh, negative side you can say from this university exam state education board exam it has not been added so you have to give here yeah one more question is there you have to tell here that this has to be also added to make the accountability to bring the accountability transparency and uh, to make education system uh, like in equal at par level okay next question poverty and malnutrition pati it has been given so poverty is there it will end up with malnutrition so there is a connective between malnutrition and poverty adversely affecting the human capital the all three is are interrelated okay what steps has been taken so you have to talk about poverty then poverty leads to how uh, uh, you know like uh, access to nutritional food health care and education it is equally uh, affecting it ensuring food security and uh, nutritions will uh, give a strengthening this poverty human capital and as well as uh the malnutrition three things ku vandu at a time neenga vandu focus panni you need to give a suggestion so schools uh, mid day meal schools uh, schemes la vandu uh, even nutritions um, uh, nutritionist food provide pannumbodhu poverty will be going to handle and also the students and the uh, the younger populations will be targeting to uh, make it as a uh, human capital okay ensuring food security and nutrition so you have to come here mid day meal scheme integrated child development schemes nutritional program portion abhiyan etc improving access to quality health care will also enhance this three things together and promoting early childhood education and development la vande anganwadi centers etc we have to focus on these three parameters even a women's when they are carrying the children poverty address pannave vande malnutrition and health care uh, automatically this can be queued up okay so this was all the questions i hope this questions you have understood any questions regarding this you can comment it also if you are not from king makers you can come and meet me in academy if you need any uh, suggestions for your preparation so our students please do comment that how was the session and uh, whether you have benefited from this or not okay so for the further sessions it is also there ethics is also coming do check ethics classes uh, uh, ethics session from 2024 mains question paper we will be going to discuss there okay so see you and bye bye take care